Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, massive open online course on solid fluid operations. So, today uh, we will discuss about the two phase flow through packed bed. Uh, in the previous uh, lecture we have uh, discussed about uh, the single phase flow through the packed bed and also we were learning about uh, different uh, fundamentals of this you know flow phenomena through this packed condition or packed bed. And there we learned that what is Darcy's law, there we learned what is cosine karman equation, there we have, uh, we have also learned what is the general expression for the fluid flow phenomena for uh, estimating uh, this uh, frictional uh, pressure drop uh, when there will be both the laminar as well as you know turbulent conditions uh, will prevail. And also we are actually discussing about the different characteristics factors of the you know solid particles uh, and also uh, flow phenomena whenever it will be flowing through the uh, uh, packed bed. We are uh, describing about the you know organ equation based on which you can calculate what will be the frictional pressure drop uh, within a, a flow regime of laminar as well as uh, turbulent flow. There are two uh, forces we are discussing uh, that uh, one is uh, viscous force another one is called inertial force. So, both the forces whenever it will be acting uh, then how that frictional pressure drop can be calculated that is actually given by argon is uh, you know general expression. Uh, containing that viscous effect and inertial effect. So, that we have discussed in the uh, previous uh, lecture. Now, in this lecture uh, we will be discussing about that two phase flow instead of uh, you know single phase flow. There are many applications in industry where uh, this two phase flow will be flowing through the packed bed and there are uh, you know some uh, process output will be there. Uh, there will be some reactions when uh, suppose gas and liquid will be reacting in a packing condition or in presence of uh, solid particles or in a catalyst particles there. So, there are some uh, examples uh, of course, uh, are there that uh, we have shown different applications uh, of that packed bed in the uh, previous lecture when single phase flow will be there. So, in that case here also you will see that for two phase flow uh, there are several applications which is being actually carried out in uh, pack bed of that catalyst particles. Now, here uh, some examples uh, given uh, here metals like uh, you know nickel, palladium, platinum as a powder or uh, on support of metal oxides that is chromium oxide which is being used actually as a catalyst and it is actually uh, used in a pack uh, condition for uh, you know carrying out uh, that reaction between olefin and hydrogen. So, which will be giving you that paraffin. And also uh, metal catalyst uh, like uh, copper, uh, nickel and platinum which are being used for you know reactions like hydrogenation reaction. Uh, example like acetone uh, will be reacting with hydrogen uh, in presence of this uh, metal catalyst and which will be giving you that uh, product of isopropanol. And also other uh, you know applications like uh, oxidation of hydrocarbons, oxidation of uh, carbon monoxide uh, which will also uh, being uh, done uh, in uh, presence of catalyst particle in a packing condition. Also uh, metal oxide support uh, vanadium pentoxide that also being used as a catalyst particle in a pack condition for uh, you know that production of uh, thalic anhydride from the naphthalene. That means, naphthalene to be oxidized to give this thalic anhydride in presence of vanadium pentoxide as a catalyst particle. And uh, also you will see that mixed oxide of iron and molybdenum those are also uh, being used for the reaction of methanol and oxygen which will give you the formaldehyde with carbon monoxide and water. And uh, iron oxide or metal sulphides like uh, you know water and carbon monoxide which will give you that uh, hydrogen and carbon dioxide. And also you will see that there are several other you know uh, reactions that is uh, being done in uh, you know pack bed condition. So, basically we are seeing here that two phase flow one is the liquid and another is gas. So, gas and liquid both will be flowing through the packing condition instead of single phase flow. Now, you will see that uh, uh, mostly you know that in industry uh, whenever this gas liquid flow will be uh, uh, carrying out in a packing condition. So, that may be in different mode this happened like you know co current uh, both the uh, gas and liquid will be flowing upward even uh, co current downward also there will be you know that uh, gas and liquid flow. Also counter current operation also will be there 
and uh, you will see that most of the applications that is being done in the downflow condition where trickle uh, flow condition will be uh, prevailed there. So, that is called trickle bed reactor there gas and liquid both would be flowing from the top of the column which will be flowing downward to the bottom. So, in that case it is actually uh, happened uh, just by you know flow of laminar condition of that gas and liquid and also uh, it is uh, actually advantageous because there is a less mixing that means back mixing will be you know reduced whenever it will be flowing both the gas and liquid will be flowing downward there. So, there was uh, a co current flow of uh, that gas and liquid usually downward through pack bed is used for catalytic uh, you know chemical reaction between uh, components of the fluids. So, in that case the catalyst usually being uh, some active substances supported upon that granular ceramic material which I have shown some example of that catalyst there. Such arrangements are known as trickle reactors, trickle bed reactors. So, here these are some you know uh, trickle bed uh, reactors the pictures are there and also you will see that the trickle bed reactor is fixed bed reactor uh, with two phase flow. In that case liquid phase and gas phase flow will be co-currently downward through a fixed bed of catalyst. In this case the study of hydrodynamics of trickle bed reactor is required to evaluate the reactor performance size and energetic you know requirements. So, whenever you are going to design some trickle bed reactor you have to know what will be the hydrodynamics uh, inside that you know trickle bed reactor, how that liquid or gas will be distributed inside that trickle bed reactor whether it will be laminar flow or turbulent flow, whether it will be co-currently or counter currently or whether there will be uniform mixing inside the bed or not. Also you have to know what will be the energy requirement for that, what will be the frictional resistance whenever fluid will be flowing through the bed and how that frictional resistance can be assessed all those informations to be known to you before going to design that trickle bed reactor or pack bed reactor. So, already we know that some equations for single phase flow that is Darcy's equation, Hagen Poisson's equation, which is to be used for deriving that Kozeny Karman equation, even uh, you know that Argon equation. So, here also, whenever the trickle bed reactor will be considering when liquid and gas both will be flowing downward. So, in that case, uh, what will be the frictional pressure drop and what will be the frictional pressure drop for individual phases? And if you know that frictional pressure drop for individual phases, then what will be the two phase frictional pressure drop that can be assessed based on the single phase frictional pressure drop. So, there itself. So, this hydrodynamic behavior inside the pack bed to be known. So, in that case, you will see that mainly you know that flow regime you know hold up means what will be the volume fraction of liquid and volume fraction of gas, how it will be distributed throughout the bed that is also very important point there and also friction or pressure drop. These are the important factor which will be governing that operation of that trickle bed reactor. And here some example that I have shown you will see that whenever we are talking about that uh, gas and liquid will be flowing through the uh, conduit or bed there will be certain you know flow map or flow regime or flow condition which will give you that certain fashion of that flow inside the bed. For co-current downward flow of liquid and gas through a bed of solid particles that will be flowing exhibiting or that will be uh, showing you that four types of regime okay, that can be uh, distinguished. Those flow regimes are like called trickle flow that means their gas will be continuous whereas liquid may be distributed phase. And then pulse flow there you will see that unstable regime with partly gas continuous and partly liquid continuous this is called pulse flow. And then dispersed bubble flow there you will see the whenever gas will be distributed through the uh, voids of that packing uh, or packed bed there you know formation of bubbles will be there. So, the bubbly flow will be there at a certain you know flow condition. And then spray flow. So, there you will see that gas and uh, liquid uh, will be flowing, but gas here continuous, but uh, you know liquid will be highly dispersed flow. That means, here uh, liquid will be dispersed flow that means as a droplet flow it will be there. 
So, there are four special type of rhizyme we can expect from this you know trickle bed reactor at uh, uh, different flow conditions. Uh, it is called trickle flow and uh, then uh, second is pulse flow, third is dispersed bubble flow and fourth one is spray flow. So, these are called hydrodynamics that means it is uh, how that flow phenomena occurs inside the bed. Now, you will see that when that you know trickle flow, when that bubble flow, when that pulse flow and spray flow will happen at what condition. So, there will be a certain you know limitation for that you cannot you know increase that uh, liquid velocity or gas velocity beyond a certain regime. So, that you will not be able to have that type of you know flow regime. So, to get that special type of flow regime this within a range of operating condition you will see that if you are having that superficial velocity and then uh, you know superficial gas velocity. Here in this picture there is a you know map shown where you will see that with respect to liquid velocity what should be the gas velocity to be followed so that you can get a special flow regime. To get that trickle flow that means there gas will be continuous whereas you know superficial liquid that means liquid will not be continuous there. So, in that case uh, what will be the regime to get this. So, here this trickle flow design will be you know uh, showing in this region in this region where this uh, superficial liquid velocity will be less than 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second where the superficial gas velocity will be less than 1 meter per second. So, within this uh, you know range of uh, superficial uh, liquid velocity and gas velocity you can expect there will be a trickle flow. And beyond this you know uh, regime that means the uh, superficial liquid velocity greater than 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second you will see that you can expect that the bubble flow within this range of uh, superficial gas velocity of 0 to 1 meter per second. Also even you will see that you can get the pulse flow there beyond this you know uh, certain range of this. Uh, so, you can uh, expect this within this range at any point if you consider. Uh, for this uh, you know a specific value of superficial liquid velocity and uh, the superficial gas velocity then you can say that there will be a pulse flow. Whereas, at any point in this region you can say the what will be the superficial liquid velocity and what will be the superficial gas velocity only based on those you know liquid and gas velocity you can expect this bubbly flow here. Whereas, to get the spray flow you have to you know control the liquid velocity very low that means less than 0 0.01 meter per second and uh, superficial gas velocity will be higher than 1 meter per second then only you can expect that spray flow ok. Whereas, bubble flow it will be you know uh, smaller than 1 meter per second, but it will be you know high liquid velocity at you know uh, around uh, 0 0.1 meter per second. So, this is the case that for uh, you know trickle bed reactor what will be the flow transition. Here special you know pack bed we are considering this trickle bed reactor because these reactor are being used for that catalytic cracking in industry especially for having that you know less uh, back mixing as well as that uh, more uh, you know uniform uh, liquid and gas distribution within this uh, you know flow regime. So, that is why this bed is uh, more expected to utilized. Now, mostly that flow regimes are detected by visual observation through uh, transparent uh, column wall in uh, you know laboratory scale uh, experiment. And, uh, However, other techniques can be used uh, like you know electroconductivity, uh, thermal uh, conductivity, uh, pressure uh, drop measurements and even variation in mass transfer coefficient those methods also can be used to get this type of flow regimes. And also you have to remember that that uh, the trickle flow you will see that in the case of trickle flow the catalyst particle tends to be covered by a film of liquid of varying thickness whereas, gas tends to flow through interstitial space which is not occupied by the liquid. And also this normal uh, regime of trickle flow is mainly determined by superficial velocity of liquid and gas both. And the transition between uh, these two regimes is characterized by sudden increase in uh, two phase frictional pressure drop. So, that is why you have to know what will be the frictional pressure drop 
So, based on which you can mark it on whether it will be you know that bubbly flow or a spray flow or you can there that trickle flow. So, that you know demarcation uh, can be obtained based on that you know uh, two phase frictional pressure drop. So, so, how to you know calculate that uh, two phase frictional pressure drop or how to assess that frictional pressure drop there. You can measure that two phase frictional pressure drop just by uh, different uh, uh, techniques either you know that pressure transducer sophisticated instrument you can use uh, even modern techniques also you can use uh, to uh, you know measure that frictional pressure drop. Uh, from the laboratory uh, experiment you can uh, use that simply manometer also you can use that two phase frictional pressure drop what will be there in the trickle blade uh, also. I think in your uh, you know laboratory also you are doing this type of experiment in trickle blade reactor they are uh, what will be the frictional pressure drop how to measure it and also how to assess this frictional pressure drop. Once you know that uh, frictional pressure drop by experimental measurements you have to assess it. Now, there are uh, several methods to assess this either by correlation method or uh, by uh, other you know that you know stochastic method or you can say some uh, mechanistic uh, method by which you can assess this you know frictional pressure drop. You will see that one of the important you know uh, method uh, based on which you can assess this two phase frictional pressure drop whenever fluid will be flowing through the packed bed or you know that any uh, conduit there if there is a two phase flow there. So, here this is called actually uh, Lockhart Martinelli uh, method and uh, Lockhart Martinelli in 1949 they have given a certain concept based on which that uh, this frictional pressure drop of the two phase flow can be assessed. So, that uh, concept uh, or that uh, model of that uh, you know Lockhart Martinelli uh, in 1949 still being used uh, which is known as Lockhart Martinelli model. So, this model is mostly used uh, as a recognized tool to describe that two phase frictional pressure drop in different process equipment. So, it is called Lockhart Martinelli model you have to remember it. So, in this case uh, you will see that this is basically a method of two phase frictional pressure drop multiplier. Here one multiplier to be considered which is very popular method to assess the frictional pressure drop in the pack bed. What is that actually? So, according to that you know model of that uh, Lockhart Martinelli given in 1949 the two phase frictional pressure drop in a packed bed is a function of single phase frictional pressure drop. So, this is the concept that two phase frictional pressure drop will be certain you know factor multiply it to the single phase frictional pressure drop. So, single phase frictional pressure drop if you multiply by a certain factor then it will give you that two phase frictional pressure drop this is the concept. Okay. So, that is why the by which factor you are multiplying this single phase frictional pressure drop either liquid or gas that factor will be called as multiplier that will be called as multiplier or it is called frictional pressure drop multiplier. So, this can be expressed by this here this equation. So, delta P F T P here basically the frictional pressure drop F for frictional delta P pressure drop and here P, P means here T P, T P means here two phase, two phase frictional pressure drop that will be is equal to phi L square into delta P F S L. Phi L square is basically the multiplier that means the factor by which you are multiplying with that single phase pressure drop this is basically delta P F S L. Delta P means pressure drop F for frictional here suffix S L means single phase here liquid S for single phase L for liquid T P here two phase. So, two phase frictional pressure drop will be equal to phi L square into delta P F S L. So, this is for if you know the frictional pressure drop of single liquid through that pack bed and if you multiply it by phi L square then you will get two phase frictional pressure drop. Either way you can say that if you know the single phase frictional pressure drop of gas and if you multiply by a multiplier which is called as phi z square here based on gas. This is also multiplier phi z square or phi L square, phi L square basically for liquid and phi z square for gas. 
So, in this case also you can get that two phase frictional pressure drop. Okay. So, by these two equation you can easily assess what will be the two phase frictional pressure drop once you know the single phase frictional pressure drop either for liquid or gas. Okay. So, phi is called the two phase frictional multiplier not the sphericity here. Okay. And then the author introduced a new parameter which is called x or denoted by x it is called parameter that is called Lockhart Martinelli parameter. The authors they are given another parameter it is called x which is called Lockhart Martinelli parameter this is called x, x is called Lockhart Martinelli parameter. So, the parameter x will be relating to the single phase pressure drop for liquid and gas as if each fluid will be flowing alone in the pack bed and which can be defined by this equation. So, x is basically what is that phi z by phi l that means ratio of this frictional multiplier of gas and liquid or it is defined as what is that root over delta p f by delta l that means frictional pressure drop gradient for single phase liquid divided by frictional pressure drop gradient based on superficial gas velocity. So, this is called x it is called Lockhart Martinelli parameter x. Now, this single phase pressure drop can be calculated from the argon equation. Now, you have to know that what will be the single phase frictional pressure drop that you have already learned in your previous lecture that how to calculate the frictional pressure drop for the single phase flow. So, that you can calculate by the argon equation. Once you know that all parameters viscosity, velocity and uh, particle diameter, even uh, sphericity, even a uh, void fraction of the liquid. Okay. So, there itself you can easily uh, calculate that frictional pressure drop. So, once you know that frictional pressure drop either by gas or liquid then what will be the multiplier that multiplier can be then calculated from the experimental data. You know that total two phase frictional pressure drop of experimental data and you know the frictional pressure drop of single phase flow by argon equation then if you divide it you will see that what will be the multiplier. Okay. You can calculate easily multiplier. Now, this multiplier how it will be related with the Lockhart Martinelli parameter. Seesholm 1967 developed the equations in terms of the Lockhart Martinelli correlating groups for the frictional pressure gradient during the flow of gas liquid mixer in the bed. Okay. So, in terms of Lockhart Martinelli parameter, here we can say parameter that means x. Okay, which will be actually relating some physical properties of the group itself as well as you know that some other characteristic factor of solid uh, how it will be intact all those things. And also it will be depending on the frictional pressure drop of individual phase. So, we can say that frictional or two phase pressure drop multiplier or frictional pressure drop multiplier which will be function of Lockhart Martinelli parameter that can be equal to 1 plus c by x plus 1 by x square. This relationship or correlation is given by C-Solve 1967. Similarly, for phi g square that f x will be equal to 1 plus c x plus x square, where c is a parameter that can be obtained from the experimental data by knowing that phi l value, phi l is what? Phi l is simply that multiplier that can be obtained from the measured frictional pressure drop divided by the single phase frictional pressure drop then you will get phi l. So, once you know that phi l and you know already what will be the x value then you will be able to find out what will be the c value after substitution of that value here. So, in this case then phi l square can be related with the you know x that means Lockhart Martinelli parameter and here c is a c Scholm constant. The parameter c depends on the experimental conditions whether the liquid and gas phases are laminar or turbulent flow. If suppose gas and liquid both are laminar then the C value will be is equal to 5 whereas, it will be applicable only that Reynolds number will be less than 1000. When this liquid and gas uh, both will be like this turbulent and laminar respectively then the C value will be is equal to 10 where the Reynolds number will be you know Reynolds number for liquid will be greater than 2000s and Reynolds number for the gas it will be equal to less than 1000s. If suppose 
liquid will be laminar flow whereas, gas flow will be turbulent that means, higher superficial gas velocity in that case the C value will be equal to 12 whereas, this Reynolds number for the liquid it will be less than thousands and gas Reynolds number will be greater than 2000s, but both the phases will be turbulent. In that case the value of C will be equal to 20 and Reynolds number in this case will be defined as 2000s, okay. it will be greater than 2000s for uh, based on that liquid and gas Reynolds number will be greater than 2000s, where Reynolds number for liquid and gas it will be defined by this equation. Okay. So, we understood here that two phase frictional pressure drop will be some multiplier or multiplication factor of single phase liquid or gas pressure drop and this multiplier will be related to the Lockhart Martinelli parameter and that Lockhart Martinelli parameter or single uh, parameter which is related to the you know multiplier that is suggested by Sisholm and that Sisholm constant is depending on the flow condition either laminar or turbulent based on that flow condition we are getting different value of Sisholm constant. Okay. Now, to calculate that single phase frictional pressure drop even uh, you know gas phase frictional pressure drop you have to know what will be the volume fraction of the liquid and gas inside the bed. To calculate the volume fraction you have to know what will be the volume of the liquid in that pack bed and volume of gas and liquid solid mixture inside the bed. So, that will be like this. Similarly, epsilon g volume of gas divided by volume of gas liquid solid in the bed that will be V g by V t and epsilon s this solid uh, volume fraction that means, total volume of solid by volume of gas liquid solid in the bed. So, that can be obtained from the mass of the solid that is mass divided by density of the solid you will get the volume of the solid and divided by total volume that will give you the you know volume fraction of the solid. Now, these three volume fraction that means, liquid gas and solid will give you the summation of 1. Okay. So, here this trickle bed uh, from the top liquid and gas both will be flowing downward and this is the trickle bed that means, solid catalyst bed that means, liquid plus packed solid here and it will be coming out downward that gas and liquid both will be flowing downward and here in the separator that gas will be separated out. Okay. So, in this way you can calculate what will be the volume fraction of liquid, volume fraction of gas and volume fraction of solid and from which you will be able to calculate single phase frictional pressure drop based on Argan equation. Now, you will see that we are talking about that frictional uh, multiplier that is a function of you know Lockhart Martinelli parameter. You will see how they are related if you increase the x value that means, frictional pressure drop of that liquid it will be increased then you will see that they are you know phi l will be increasing whereas, that phi g will be decreasing when uh, that you will see that this frictional pressure drop will be uh, lower based on the liquid. So, in this case uh, you will see that this profile is here uh, that phi l and phi g how it will be related to the two phase uh, Lockhart Martinelli uh, parameter. So, here uh, for different uh, you know flow condition turbulent turbulent laminar turbulent turbulent laminar and laminar laminar flow condition these are the different values you can get from this graph. Similarly, for uh, liquid uh, multiplier this uh, you know profile you can have this uh, profile you know exponentially decreasing for this uh, liquid profile with respect to Lockhart Martinelli parameter. Let us do an example based on this you know theory here uh, a trickle bed reactor of uh, diameter it is 0 0.08 meter is operating for a catalytic uh, gas like ethylene oxide liquid water reaction at a gas superficial velocity 0.005 meter per second and a liquid superficial velocity of 0.015 meter per second with catalyst to produce ethylene glycol the diameter of particle density is 10490 kg per meter cube used in the reactor which is 0.002 meter of sphericity of 0.86 the effective length of the bed is 1.5 meter, the mass of the particle used is 20 kg. In this case uh, you have to find out what is the two phase frictional pressure drop per unit effective length and viscosity of the liquid and gas are given also uh, the densities of the liquid and gas are given here. Now, in this case then you have to find out what is the two phase frictional pressure drop per unit effective length. Now, how to solve this? 
you have to calculate first density of the gas that is given, density of the liquid it is given, density of the particle also given to you, viscosity of the gas it is given to you, viscosity of the liquid also you given to you. What is the particle diameter? This is also given to you. What is the uh, bed diameter? This is also given dB phi that means here uh, sphericity of the particle 0 0.86 mass of the particle 20 kg, volume of the catalyst also uh, it is given I think uh, 0 0.0019, this is volume of catalyst that you have to calculate because mass by you know density of the catalyst particle then you will get uh, that uh, volume of the catalyst. Then you have to calculate uh, volume of reactor, uh, you know that diameter of the reactor is given, so volume of the reactor it will be coming like this. Void fraction epsilon f it is uh, you know 0 0.75. I think it is given to you. Epsilon also you can calculate from that uh, earlier equation here epsilon f that is given here volume of liquid by volume of gas liquid solid in the bed. So, that uh, void fraction of bed and gas velocity it is given to you, liquid velocity also given to you, gas volume fraction it is also given to you and then liquid volume fraction that you can uh, calculate ok and then uh, what is the uh, frictional pressure drop based on argon equation that you can calculate to be coming like this. Frictional pressure drop based on gas that also can be calculated from the argon equation you can calculate it. X that means Lockhart Martinelli parameter that means once uh, you know that frictional pressure drop for individual phases then you can easily calculate what will be the X value that means root over of delta P F L by delta P G L like this ok. Uh, then, uh, you will see that Reynolds number you can calculate it is coming less than 1000, Reynolds number for gas it is also coming less than 1000 that means here condition is laminar laminar. So, flow pattern is laminar laminar. So, C shown flow constant C that will be equal to 5, then what will be the you know phi L square, phi L square can be calculated here based on that you know formula given here phi L square that means 1 plus C by x plus 1 by x square here. So, this is phi L square is equal to what 1 plus C by x plus 1 by x square. So, based on this you can calculate what will be the phi L square. Once you know that phi L square you will be able to calculate what will be the frictional pressure drop for two phase flow that will be basically you know that phi L square into delta P F you know S L ok. So, here it will be like this divided by L per unit length. So, it will be like this per unit length ok. So, this you have already calculated I think here it will be by uh, unit length this so this will be like this and uh, then this one known to you and then this one is known to you now you you have calculated. So, what will be the final two phase frictional pressure drop. So, from this uh, you will get that uh, it is around 20,949.28 Newton per meter cube. So, here whatever problem is given you just summarize it and then finally, you just calculate it in this way. So, I think you understood this problem ok based on this theory. So, in this lecture what we have learned? We learned that uh, what is uh, Lockhart Martinelli model and uh, based on which how that two phase frictional pressure drop is uh, related to the single phase frictional pressure drop and uh, the uh, relating factor is called uh, you know multiplier also this multiplier is related to the ratio of single phase frictional pressure drop of liquid to the single phase frictional pressure drop of gas and uh, the relation is given by Sisholm 1967 whereas, this uh, correlation will be a constant it is called Sisholm constant and this Sisholm constant C is related to the flow condition whether this gas and liquid both will be laminar or turbulent and also for that single phase frictional pressure drop will be calculated based on that argon equation. So, I think you understood this uh, you know uh, concept of Lockhart Martinelli model. In the next lecture we will try to start uh, a different module like mixing of uh, solids. So, there we will uh, discuss about uh, uh, how that solid will be mixing with another type of uh, solid and what will be the assessing uh, you know criteria for having good mixing and uh, you know uh, non-uniform mixing like this. So, uh, thank you have a nice day.